I think I'm bad with time. <laughs> Maybe we should end it here and continue next time or two. Yeah, but I, I just want to finish this part. Okay, I think we're all back. Okay, quickly, let me just uh, try to finish. Uh, I think I'm bad with timing. We should have ended this like a 30. Okay, but I, this part, I just want to uh, try to explain it. So I said we have the getter setter. So assessors method or whatever, uh, I think that's what this is called. So it allows you to have access or define the level of access that you have to the fields of a class. Okay, so before we set this to just int head, int leg, whatever, we did not, uh, we allowed anybody to be able to modify it. But now we want to have a control over how it is being modified. And to do that, we need to control whatever we do. So now inside this place, whenever you want to call the hands of this, uh, which is a field of this class, you need to call this method, okay? And whenever you want to set the value, you need to call this method. So in here, I can have some code that says, if let's say you want to set, uh, for a child, you want to set the hand to zero. So I can check and say, if hand is not equals to, or is greater than zero, that is the only time it should return, you should set it, else don't set, okay? So I can have that control here because I don't want anybody to just set any rubbish to uh, my property or to my class. So I can have this control here. And so this is why what we call getter setter. We'll look at the file. So this is where we are going to end. Let's, let's see how this can be uh, used. So you can see a lot of errors are already uh, coming out. So because of this now, instead of having and, that means here we want to set and, right? We are setting four into the and. So what do we call there? Is it a get or a set? We call it set, okay? And then it asks us, what are we setting? We just put four inside, okay? So now when somebody goes to set uh, zero, what will happen? This guy will check, is this thing greater than zero? Yes, then it allows you, if not, it will not allow you to uh, go in. This thing is throwing an error somewhere. Okay, what's the error? Missing return, make set and return for it. Oh, okay, so yeah. Do you want to do that or I should do that myself? Yeah, because uh, let's just set it. We are not returning anything. Yeah, it's right. So uh, sometimes when you make mistakes, uh, IntelliJ will show you uh, the right thing to do. So now I'm setting. I'm not returning anything, so uh, so we need to set it to void. But when we are getting, we are returning something. So we have to tell them the type. We have to tell the system the type we are returning. Okay, so uh, let's move on. Go back to, oh, sorry. Let me share my screen. I wanted to go up. Let's try this here. Let's drag it down. Okay. So let's quickly finish this. So I do set and then every time I'm uh, getting, I need to use get. Okay, I need to create get it. Okay, but so because we don't want to create it now, so I'll stop this. Uh, let's see, and I have get and. So we do get and. Let me copy and paste it here. So I'm not doing it anymore. Uh, okay, so this is it. So now I still have my application. So now I can control how my hand is being set and whenever I want to get it, I can get it. So at the end of the day, we'll still have four, four hands here. Yeah, let's run it. Yes, so this is correct. It's correct because now we set the hand to be this, and then we are fetching the hand. I remember we have a code here where we are assigning whatever the female child has into the male child. So that's why both of them have two, four hands. 
But let's say I want to set zero here. Remember, we put a control that says set and once it's zero, you should not set it. So I'm expecting that the output that will come out should be two, two, because it should not set it. And because it's not setting it, let's see what will happen. So it returns the default. Okay, so these are the uh, different things that you can do with objects and classes. Okay, and this is the background of uh, programming, object-oriented uh, programming language. So uh, in other life or in other uh, time, we'll be looking more into this. Then we can now do example for each one. We can do polymorphism. We can do uh, abstraction, show you an example. We should do inheritance, show you an example, and we'll do uh, the other one and show you all the examples. So uh, this is the alpha we'll go today. It's been detailed enough. I think with this, uh, you should have uh, a better understanding of, or little understanding of uh, classes, objects, constructors, and uh, fields of uh, a class, okay? And then assessors, why are they private? Whenever you see private, you know what it means now. And when you see public, it means everybody can call it. Private means that it can only be used in this class, human being, okay? So this is where we stop there. So I have assignment for us. And this time around, please, you have to do the assignment, okay? Uh, I wrote some codes here. I can show you the code, if you can see my system, where you can, uh, uh, I want somebody to do a, multiplication table, let me find the code. So this is the code, we'll do a multiplication table for one, two, three, four, five. So one times one, one, one times two, you do that. You do three, you do four, you do five, you do six. So this is the code, but I'm not going to give it out. So I want you to do it as an assignment. And uh, one more assignment uh, is that you should create, I hope you can all see my screen, create, a customer class. Create a customer class, define its fields. So define its fields and uh, assign some bonus to the customer. This is our assignment. Thank God this is being recorded. Let me check. Yeah, it's being recorded. So you create a customer class, define its fields and I send some bonus to it. So now I've created a class, these are the fields. So now bonuses will be like, uh, like for example, a method where we are setting. So when you are creating a customer, are you giving the customer a bonus for being your customer when you are registering the customer or you are not giving them bonus, that's in your hand, you decide. So but I just want to see a class that has all those properties. Do we understand? Silence. Do we understand, please? I need the uh, feedback. Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> it's very simple. It's, it's simple because I've created uh, this human class for us. So we can, based on this, we should be able to do that. Another thing I forgot to mention is that um, for programming, in programming, sorry, anything you cannot solve manually, you cannot solve it with programming. So if you don't know the solution to a problem, let's say I want to find the uh, multiplication table. I cannot, I don't even know if five times one is going to give me five. If I'm thinking five times one is going to give me zero, then implementing that in programming will be a problem. So we must be able to solve problems ourselves before we can even ask the computer to solve it for us. So in this class one I explained, uh, we must understand what or who a customer is what are the features or the fields that a customer should have? Okay, like I can give you an example. A customer should have a name, maybe first name, last name. You must have what? Uh, maybe uh, what else can a customer have? You want to know the uh, age or date of birth. It depends on the information you want to gather about the customer. So those are the fields. And then you can now assign bonus to the customer based on maybe the kind of product he's buying and all that. So. This is, this is a real life scenario now that I'm giving out, okay? So I, I want us to do it then. The multiplication table, please solve it too. You can find it online. That's, that one is uh, simple. So two assignments, we meet on, should we meet on Friday or Thursday? 
or Java. Okay, I'll leave us to decide that later. Okay, thank you very much. Any questions at this point before I leave? Thank you very much. No question. Okay. Thank you uh, very much. Yeah. What, one question I want to ask. Uh, can you recommend any any kind of textbook for me? Because uh, it's like you look at Steve, the whole thing, it looks strange to me being joining the class today. Okay. Uh, uh, mm. Sorry to cut you short. Uh, go to our YouTube. Yeah. We have a YouTube channel. Let me open it. Here. Okay, this is the Developers College SPGS. Okay. And then try to find, I created a playlist for Java. So watch all these videos for the web. I have it here for Python. So this one that we did today, now I'll try to edit some of the things out of it. Maybe by tomorrow afternoon, I'll add it to this uh, playlist. When you do play all, you see all the things you're supposed to uh, go through here. Part one, part two, and the rest of it. Okay, so once you follow this, then you will be you come a little bit up to speed to where we are. Okay. And we can talk about uh, other things later. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sir. Okay. All right. And uh, please, um, I don't know. You can also follow us on Instagram. I don't. I can't remember the Instagram. Thing. Okay. So uh, we are on Instagram at Developers College. You can follow us. Uh, okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. yeah. That would be great. Yeah. And uh, and and uh, hello. Yes, I'm here. And uh, I will see if I sit up in development class. Maybe I will. Yes, I will get you on that uh, on that uh, Instagram page. Uh, there are no much information on the Instagram page anyway for now, but okay. I will oh. keep you updated. And, yeah. okay. okay. And also okay. our website. Uh, by uh, maybe next two weeks we'll put it up when we okay. are serious. This is just a simple yeah. training okay. that we are doing okay. now. That would be great. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a lovely night, evening. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night, sir. Yeah.